everybody. Yes, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Uh, I'm gonna try to get some videos done. Y'all, we have been busy. Um, real estate is booming. Uh, people want to come to these smaller towns, I guess out of the bigger cities. And uh, I have had strep. I went to the doctor two weeks ago. No, was it two weeks ago, Wednesday? Yeah, I guess it was. Two weeks ago today, yeah. I had strep, didn't know I had it. I had a scratchy throat, kind of like I have during the sinus and allergy season. Didn't think anything about it, didn't feel bad, no fever. Tested positive for strep. I thought, well, dad gum. So, um, and I had a sore. I had an ulcer on one of my tonsils. And so, doc, give me some medicine, give me a shot, give me medicine, give me three shots, actually and sent me home. I took all my medicine and he said, I wanna see you back to make sure the ulcer on my tonsil was healing okay, cause I guess it must've looked pretty bad. And um, he, uh, <laughs> I, told, I went back yesterday and he tested me and I still have strep. I thought, I took every bit of my medicine. I said, I took all, I said, doc, I promise I took all my medicine. He said, I believe you. He said, we're just having some issues. He said, uh, some of these germs are getting resistant to, you know, some of the antibiotics. <clears throat> and I forget, he told me, was it 30, 40 years or something since we've come up with an antibiotic for uh, similar to penicillin or something like that. So anyhow, a lot of people are allergic to penicillin. So, but I went back, another shot, more medicine. And I made Robert go in and he tested positive too. <laughs> so I don't know if I give it to him or I got over it and he give it to me. I don't know, y'all, I have no idea. He didn't have a sore throat either, other than what you would say sinus stuff. Hadn't felt bad, he ain't slowed down. Doctor asked us, he, they didn't test us for COVID, but he asked a bunch of what I would consider like a COVID question, you know, and ask Robert more than me, because Robert's out more than I am. He's, he's pretty much back as business as usual. I'm still working from home and going to closings about, I mean, going to the office a couple times a week. But he's been showing and doing closings and everything. So he's, he's kind of full speed ahead. But y'all, I have got a Bath and Body Works haul. I have, I have not, or I've not had a, done a Bath and Body Works or bought any candles in a long time because I've been trying to use up what I got. And uh, so I've got, what, five? I've got, I caught the sale they had here a while back. I also, now this is two orders. I waited for these to come in to do this because I ordered some wallflowers too. But, uh, but anyhow, I hope everybody's doing good. I hope you've managed to miss the COVID. And if you've gotten it, I hope you had a light case. Um, it's, it's a very strange disease, y'all. It's kind of like, does people different so and I'm still I have my mask well I've laid it over there now I had to wash it but I'm still trying to wear a mask you know in some of the places where it's crowded um, if I just run in somewhere like if here's the deal if I go like to a Dollar General and they put up plexiglass of course if I'm going in a Dollar General and I'm just and there's not a lot of cars and I'm just gonna run in for one thing I just I'm, I'm I'll take my mask with me in case I need to put it on but sometimes I'll just run in no, I can't breathe with them on. They're killing me. I want to faint dead away. So, but anyhow, let's get started. Okay, I had a notification. Hurricane Sally is hitting, going up through Alabama. I've got family on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It looked like it kind of missed, the worst of it missed them. So, but they said Alabama and, and the panhandle of Florida is getting hammered right now. All right, y'all, let's get started. Uh, and excuse me, my, my throat, my throat wasn't hurting yesterday until I went and got the strip test, and I swear that girl must have had a Brillo pad on the end of that Q-tip thingy because now my throat's scratchy, and I do have some sinus stuff going on. All right, y'all, you know what? If you think about it, this would be a good way. Candles are a good way to see if you've got COVID, <laughs> see if you can smell or not. Some of the people that I know that's had it, they lose their sense of smell and taste. All right, pumpkin cookie dough. This is, let's see what the notes are in it. Uh, it is a 
creamy pumpkin, cinnamon sugar with essential oils. Okay? And it's a very, y'all, I hope I'm going to like this one. It's very, it's very, very sweet smelling. Very sweet. Got pumpkin, but it's a very sweet candle. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll try it and see. Then I got the cinnamon Irish cream. I think these are all, I don't know if they're new, new, but they're new to me. And I think some of them were new. Uh, cinnamon Irish cream. It is cinnamon spice liqueur, Irish cream, French vanilla, and essential oils. Ooh, that smells like a, that smells like coffee. Yep, a sweet coffee. So, Irish cream in it. <clears throat> and then we have blueberry maple pancakes. I've never had this one before. Uh, this is wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup, and essential oils. I must have been hungry when I ordered these because they're all like sweet. <laughs> Ooh, that's, I wish there was smell a vision or smell YouTube vision or whatever. That smells good. I like that. Th this one doesn't seem overly sweet, okay? Then we have Dutch apple waffle. And that is not overly sweet, but it's, I'm holding it out like, here, smell. <laughs> but let me read, let's see what's in this. Warm buttermilk waffles, baked apple slices, ground nutmeg, and essential oils. So, and then I got, let's see, sugared cherry crisp. I'm allergic to cherries, so, but maybe, ooh, y'all, that, that smells like a cobbler. So, yep, sure does. This has got sweet cherries, graham cracker crumble, crushed almonds with essential oils. Hi, hey, you sound, sound like, sounds like you could eat that one, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it smells good. I like it. And then, y'all, I got a one wick, and I've told y'all this before. Some of these candles bother my husband. I don't know what it is about it. He just can't breathe. And, y'all, I have made me a coffee here, an iced coffee with the... Uh, uh, it's a, it's like an iced coffee caramel mar macchiato with some uh, whipped cream on top. But anyhow, I got the pumpkin pecan waffle. This is just a one wick. And I've had it before. I think I've gotten it in the three wick. So, and y'all, they had, I, I was, I had done, used up nearly all of my air uh, fresheners. I got crisp morning air. I got pumpkin apple, and y'all, it don't take much of these. I know why they have them in the little cans. And then the marshmallow fireside, which I have a couple of these candles less left from last year. And y'all, they actually had the spray hand sanitizers. You know, I, I've told y'all a while back, I love those. And um, they had the, this is sunshine and lemons. These, uh, Bottles look a little bigger. This is the gingham. Um, that's the tall skinny bottles like I had the last few in that I was able to find. And then cucumber melon. So it's, it's getting easier to find hand sanitizers now, y'all. I'm still having trouble finding Lysol wipes and Lysol spray. So, and not only do I have to buy here, I have to buy for the office too, so I'm having double double trouble. All right, and with these y'all, I just ordered some of the uh, the big packs here that has the different kinds in them. Um, all right, let's see. We have champagne, apple, honey, cranberry woods, mahogany apple, autumn woods, acorn lane, and fresh fall morning. Some of these I've used. Some of them I haven't, okay. Then we have, well, most of them's turned. Sometimes the tags get turned. Pumpkin clove, pumpkin apple, white pumpkin, caramel pumpkin swirl, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, and pumpkin pecan waffle. This was what they call their pumpkin pack, okay. It had, it had all pumpkins in it, so. This is the one with the one that's turned is the pe uh, pumpkin pecan waffle is that one so got that 
we're ready for fall, aren't we, y'all? It's been a long summer. And then I got the Marshmallow Fireside Crisp Morning Air Leaves Perfect Autumn Sweater Weather and Autumn. I guess this is their fall pack. So, and I've, I think I've done, I think I've used most of these. I'm not sure. So, but y'all, I had to get this done because I've got these shoved back in an extra room back here where my grandgirls sleep when they spend the night and they're spending the night Friday night. So I thought, I've got to get this filmed and get that stuff out of here. And I didn't want to use any of it until I filmed this. So, but we're at about 10 minutes. That's not too bad. Uh, Y'all, I have got empties I'm doing. Um, what else was it? Oh, my boxy charm. We're gonna do a boxy charm COVID edition and I'll try to rush it. I've gotten four or five boxes and I have not stopped to film them. And I'm gonna try to do them all at one time, but I'll try to, you know, kind of go through them pretty, pretty quick. So if you're interested in seeing those, so. And wanna do some more recipes. I've got, uh, I was working this morning on a couple little story times I wanna do. These are little story times of, of some things that happened after my mom passed away. That was in 2014, a couple little stories, so. But, uh, but anyhow, y'all, I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you are getting ready for Halloween. We're gonna try to do trick or treat. Uh, I don't know if you remember or not, but I have about 400 and something trick-or-treaters every year at my house. And I'm talking on Facebook with a bunch of my neighbors. We have like a little neighborhood group about how we're going to do it. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to get some, uh, and I've done both those, the little cheap uh, snack bags from Walmart. And I'm going to put two or three pieces of candy in them, seal them up, and then I'm going to lay them out on a table like kind of close to the road. We're still going to be out there, but we'll be kind of fur, further back, fur back. <laughs> Can you tell I'm country? We're going to try to be further back and keep the the uh, table stocked. So, and that way it'll, you know, won't be coming in contact with that many different people. So, and the kids can still trick or treat and get their candy and they'll all be wearing masks, but I'm probably not going to be the mask that the CDC wants you, want you to wear, so I don't know. But y'all, thank you so much, and I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day, and God bless.